Hey guys, Dexter here from uh, Dexter's Workshop. So, um, just received the SMD um, soldering oven, and uh, as I promised, I will uh, have a little review and uh, first impressions uh, that I could collect, like, uh, I don't know, in about 10 minutes. Uh, I have it from like 10 12 minutes. Uh, I will talk about it um, and I will uh, actually uh, tell you what should you do in case you would like to have something like this because some modifications are needed and uh, uh, actually uh, it uh, will really make it a nice unit um, and the next price level if you if you are going into into reflow uh, the next price uh, threshold will be in a couple of thousands uh, region so uh, this is a pretty good value for the money I would I would bought it even if uh, uh, even it, if it would be only the the enclosure and uh, the, the actual uh, uh, electronics and nothing work Instead. so yeah it's it's a good it's a good deal for uh, it's a good deal for the for the price so I, I will show you what you should do first time when you open the, the package and you just put it on the table be right back okay so uh, we are back here the first thing I would recommend you to do is to unscrew the screws here on the side there are two four five six seven screws on the back of the oven and there are other two that are located under the tray here and here actually okay so I, I cannot show them to you but you have to take my word for for that they are located here under the, the, uh, the tray uh, that will cause the the lid to come off like, sorry, just a second, let's see, okay, so here we are, uh, the lid will come off and here, here you'll have all the actual electronics and uh, the common module and here you'll have the heating elements and uh, the, the thermocouples. As I uh, suspected, they used a lot of, I don't know, masking tape to, to actually mask the, the edges uh, in, the, in the front of the, the heat shield, okay? So the th first thing you'd like to do is take that masking tape off because it will really, really smell when you, you're going to heat that for the first time. And the trap is that you also have masking tape here, uh, here and here on the inside. So you have to take it out and after that put it in place. If you like, you can go and use Captain tape on the sides and here and uh, to actually isolate it uh, from, uh, uh, from the outside environment. So I would recommend you, I don't have Captain tape here on stock in the uh, in the workshop but I will buy some camp captain tape and I will uh, actually go around and and uh, shield it another thing you have to do well I will do it for sure it's make sure that the the earth uh, link uh, it's actually connected because on many models there uh, there is a lot of paint here and actually this is not connected to the chassis so it's nice to see that it's actually connected to the chassis well nope it's not so you have to take this bolt out and actually scratch the paint around it and put it back and if you're there put a, a, a like a, a, a tooth uh, a nut okay a tooth nut uh, and use a screwdriver on the outside 
and everything should uh, should be okay. I'm going to do that after afterwards. Another another thing that you have to do, well, if you like to, to actually have a, a a working reflow oven, is to actually rewrite the firmware in the microcontroller here. And for that, I will have an, a separate uh, uh, a tutorial. And also, if you are going to rewrite the firmware, I would also recommend you to uh, spend, I don't know, like three bucks more maximum. Uh, spend three bucks more and actually have a call jun uh, junction point um, a sensor uh, fitted here. I'm going to take all this gooey stuff out. I'm going to take some patience. Okay. Um, and I'm going to to actually uh, have a um, call junction uh, um, sensor fitted here. Uh, it's a DS120B uh, if I if I remember. Um, and with the uh, the firmware rewritten, uh, everything should be okay, and uh, the, the oven should perform. Uh, much much better than the original version uh, what can I say uh, what can I say for now it's that it's pretty okay built in terms of the the, the, the ruggedness and uh, it's it's built okay uh, another feature that I didn't see it to the other uh, chip ovens is that they actually replaced the the high temperature silicon that hold the 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 glass in place here you you have a small window a small glass window and they actually used uh, uh metal clamps to uh to fit it and also the glass is much thicker than to than the other models uh what i'm going to do now uh but i'm i'm going to uh i'm going to film it it's uh actually i'm going to to fit a uh, a small board inside, a small test board. Um, put the thermocouple on the back, and actually measure the temperature in the oven, uh, and uh, see if the profile it's it's good. It, actually, a lot of people complain by the fact that uh, it overshoots a little, and that's. Uh, Actually, the reason of doing that is the fact that no junction, uh, no cold junction uh, compensation is added uh, in uh, in the actual oven. So uh, this will uh, this oven will actually uh, think that the cold junction uh, compensation is uh, 20 degrees, which is very wrong because all the common module is uh, on top of the actual oven. And uh, uh, here you might have a little more than 20 degrees Celsius. Hey guys, Dexter is here. Uh, back with a little uh, supplementary video to the original one that I've made. Uh, I've managed to actually uh, reflush the, the firmware in the, in the oven. And uh, using uh, those two meters, I try to actually detect how much of an improvement was made. And I have to say that uh, was quite uh, a surprise for me, even without the actual uh, um, call junction sensor uh, fitted on the on the main board. So as you might see, the, the actual oven temperature right now, it's 53 degrees and we have an overshoot of uh, 56 here and 55 here. Uh, actually, it's pretty good, only 3 degrees Celsius uh, uh, difference. It's quite excellent. Uh, this I could achieve without the the cold jun junction sensor by going to uh, to F2 setup and uh, left and the right offset 
I've said it left and right offset through trial and error uh, uh, for the thermocouples. Um, what I was doing right now, I was actually playing with the oven and uh, with the, a free run mode. Uh, so I'm going to press uh, F3 bake manual mode. And I set it at a temperature of uh, 150 degrees for uh, uh, as the target. Uh, you may see no cold junction uh, uh, TS uh, temperature sensor uh, present uh, there. So now we have 65, 67 degrees. On the left, we have 67 here. Actually, it's going up real quick. Uh, we have 72 and we are a little bit of overshoot here. It's actually uh, undershoot here. It's actually uh, 90. It's 86. But... Uh, it's going to be averaged inside the uh, inside uh, the oven because uh, there is actually a fan in the back that is actually moving the air around a little bit. After I'm going to uh, to add the cold junction uh, sensor, I'm sure that uh, uh, the actual reading will be even more precise than that uh, because the actual uh, temperature inside the case it's uh, a little bit over 20 degrees celsius and that's where the the cold junction uh, sensor uh, it's coming uh, uh, in use so as as you might see the the temperature set point it's 150 the actual read temperature it's 150 149 and we have 150 and 149 the the real temperature inside the oven uh, the left and right thermocouples are a little bit overshoot and a little bit undershoot here, but that should actually uh, come into place after I'm going to 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 add the the cold junction uh, temperature sensor. So uh, right now uh, 149, 151, 152, three degrees plus minus three degrees. Actually, it's it's an excellent uh, an excellent. Uh, um a tolerance uh for uh, for such a, a cheap oven and with the firmware for the from the engineers united uh, let's see uh actually about unified engineering uh it's version uh 0.5.1 t962 controller I would like to uh, to congrats the guys for uh, the the good job they made. They they actually uh, uh, managed to uh, you can see it managed to uh, m make something very good from a very very cheap piece of equipment. Uh, now we got 89 degrees. We got 86, 84, 86, 83, 81. Actually it's the, the the variation it's about plus minus three degrees uh, as far as i could could see okay so uh, this is it for tonight i'm going to uh make an update uh, one of those days because i'm going to 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 actually install the the cold junction sensor and see how that will improve the performance of the oven and after that after the dispenser and my solar paste that are actually going to arrive somewhere this week or next week, I guess, I will uh, do uh, also a, a video tutorial. Well, that's it for now. I will uh, come back with, with some, uh, some uh, detailed impressions after I will do some tests and uh, maybe I will have a small tutorial regarding the, the reflow, uh, reflow process. Uh, that's it for now. I know it was short, uh, maybe a little bit lacking of content, but uh, uh, I will get back to you as soon as possible and uh, I will make it up for this. Bye bye guys and uh, don't forget Happy New Year a little bit in advance from uh, Dexter's Workshop.